for for a while I've worked on um, <coughs> these path um, modules for this, and for this um, modules I've made some specifications from few years. And this is a list of the specifications that I'm working on. The first one is also included on the XPath site. The cryptographic uh, module is uh, already uh, existing in, um, it has um, a central library and an exist wrapper. Contains uh, some functions that the one uh, using cryptographic functions are used with. So hash, hmap functions are implemented, it's implemented, generate signature, validate signature, encrypt and decrypt. Uh, and also, um, the other functions are just, uh, at this very moment, are just ideas to be implemented. But <coughs> I made it sort of uh, quite comprehensive. So to, to cover digital signatures, key management, secure storing of safety key in the material, and digital certificates, including uh, generating, validating, parking, and also um, for the cryptographic hardware. This um, <coughs> specification, as I said, is implemented in exist. It, um, it is an ASAP package there are two ESPAP packages, one for the library and one for the demo, which can be downloaded from the Exist public repo. Maybe you have seen the key before. And um, for this uh, demos, I have a test runner. There are a few tests, and one can see the past and they can be run separately also. There are various tests about validating, generating digital signatures, encryption, decryption, hashing, and uh, also with the uh, HMAC. This with various algorithms. Also in the future, I want to um, implement and uh, provide a mechanism so that um, to, for users to register various providers to run with these functions. Another, um, this is a data type conversion module I thought of. It's not implemented yet. It's for converting. I, I saw that in uh, I studied many different databases, and I saw that there are various functions for convert for converting from various data types to other data types. And I made a synthesis so that there are a lot of functions to convert base 64 binary to other data types, byte, hex binary, string, and integer, as far as I found out until now. The um, third one is File Transfer Client Module. This covers FTP protocols, FTP and SFTP protocols, and this is fully functional. It's, uh, it has been tested for around three years, and uh, it's working. You can uh, list resources from a remote server. You can uh, retrieve, store resources, um, and there are some other functions I have to add to the module. But most of the functions um, that are mostly needed for file transfer are working. And this, this is also, uh, there are also two ESPAT packages related, the library and, uh, and uh, the demos on uh, public repo. For the demo, you need an uh, FTP and SFTP server installed. I thought also a time module with the functions. I studied um, many programming languages and uh, find out some time related functions that are not included in the XPath specification. 
this is that publishing PDF with PDF functions, image module, and the, the last one is uh, location module, which is um, which was before an, uh, a, a jar to be added to to exist manually, and now I'm working on it to um, to get. Um, to get it as an uh, XLAT package, I um, I added more functions to that version, and uh, the very good news about this is that it's not depending on uh, open uh, GOIP database. I found uh, some uh, German man who signed this, who who made the, um, an open source um, collection of correspondences and it's updated between uh, IPs and countries. And this is open source. Uh, for uh, GeoIP, you have a free light database and also you have a tape something. And this is uh, open source. So at this very moment, um, it's very easy to get um, a, a country based on, on the IP. I, um, I'm still thinking about uh, the, the cities because it's, um, the, the error is very large for the city. For developing uh, these uh, modules, I'm uh, using, I, I wrote for my own use, and, but it's publicly available uh, uh, Maven plugin, which at this very moment has uh, some plan and some functional uh, goals. So um, after I'm writing and or I'm working on a um, specification, <coughs> I'm using uh, this plugin to transform the spec to HTML, also to uh, 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 this uh, goal to generate the spec index, and this goal to generate the lib basics. At this very moment, this go generate leap basics generates um, automatically the um, error messages because um, it's uh, error prone. If you are, it's it's often the case when you modify the spec, you forget to modify <laughs> some some files. So it's uh, generating at this very moment the error messages and the module description. I intend in the future to make it to generate also. Um, description of the function and description of the function arguments. Again, to, to not forget something during development. Also, I want, uh, at this very end, when I want to pack um, a library as an uh, ESPAC package, I'm using this goal, make, make start, which is fully functional, and I'm using it for making my ESPAC packages. And also, I want to implement generate descriptors, uh, which is a step to make an uh, ESAT package, but is uh, <coughs> maybe needed for some time to, to make some research on the descriptors. And I want also, in order to, to ease the work, I want to add um, an install, uh, a goal for uh, installing on a, <coughs> on a server installing the package automatically and also I want to make a, a go to deploy automatically a package to a repository chosen by the user. And, uh, oh, I have to include this, but it's working for what I need and what can be used for those that are using Maven. So I'm also done with my pragmatic presentation. OK, so thank you, Marius. Uh, uh, Dante has this a number of time for the questions and the uh, remarks and so on for you, too. Um, so please. What's the digital publishing one? <coughs> I make a synthesis for some functions 
there are some functions uh, working. It's uh, for transformation. And uh, I have a Google Doc. I haven't updated the specification yet with uh, some um, other functions to, to implement it, at least at the specification level. That is for what I am studying this field uh, is um, preparing for printing or and um, for that pre-flight phase and array, uh, I, I found some libraries for ranging in page and functions like this for, and for, um, for two, two sections one for <coughs> various kinds of transformation between formats which is needed and uh, there is no specification for this and for preparing for printing so two sections of this the future. Yeah. and servers. 
there is already talk about those or from this design message? Yes, yes, this is the, the this may one uh, plugin. Okay. Yeah, and it has uh, this code for deployment. Uh, this uh, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah this one. Yeah. Install, install, star. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Targeted. Yeah, I will, I will, uh, at this very moment I, I refactored it and I'm currently using for the project I'm working with uh, with the university and so, so that I'm making two different archives, one for testing which is slightly different to the, the one for production. And I want to automatize also the, the task of installing it. Because I, I want to install it locally, to test locally, I want to install it on the, <coughs> the current test server, which is for all the team, and I want to install it on the production server. And also I have to deploy it on the exist public repo. Mm -hmm. Or any other repo, for instance, Cezanne. Um, I think this is awesome <laughs> because I had a little play with trying to generate SARS from maybe before. Yeah, um, no. Have you gone as far as um, the Maven uh, archetype plugin, which allows ZAR to be a native format in Maven, just like a jar is? Yes, yeah, so at this very moment, you I can show you a descriptor. Yeah. Yeah, which is uh, the, re the reason I ask is what I found once. You yeah, I know this. I, I know the discussion, and I'm with uh, collecting any dependencies needed. I will okay. show you how it, it's a uh, descriptor. So, I mean, as well as um, having dependencies, what I thought was interesting is that you could then publish your SARS <coughs> to uh, a Maven central repo. Uh, yeah, I I want, and I agree with this. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. As it's very moment, the descriptor contains. Uh, I'll show you the descriptor. So this is the descriptor. I'm not very glad that there are so many descriptors in an uh, Xbox package. I, I, because there are some overlapping. Uh, for instance, title is title in one file and description in other file. Uh, and I think one would be enough, but uh, there are also specific uh, descriptors for exist or for Cezanne, so it's, I don't know, maybe we will, uh, so. so at this very moment you have to define this, this is plain, here I am I, defining the dependencies, so only, only one descriptor, uh, as like in uh, Maven archive uh, plugin, is used, and at uh, this very moment, uh, this process is uh, file sets with uh, non normal includes and excludes, and also process uh, is processing uh, Maven dependencies. But I am intending to extend to process uh, to bring to download files and unzip or unarchive them or not, as you want. For for instance, if you if you have a uh, JavaScript application. And you are packing an uh, ESPAD as an uh, ESPAD package. You can um, add uh, dependencies and uh, downloading them. If there, it's uh, only a jQuery file. You don't have to unzip it. But if it's a full other something, you you have to unzip it. And um, I'm I'm also I, I agree also to, to publish like this because we have to be very flexible at this very moment. Um, and also the, the name, the naming, the name spacing in uh, in XPath repositories, it's, um, it's difficult because uh, we have to name spaces, uh, name space them using, I think, using <coughs> the uh, model. At this very moment, uh, we can have two libraries having the same name and having the same version collide. Yeah, yeah and this is, uh, and also I. I want this for for exist to um, maybe Volkswagen we can extend the, um, the repository processor so that to to maintain only what what is needed because uh, shared resources can be larger and larger with the new libraries in the future if yeah. we have time. Yeah. yeah, so that's also something I've been working on. So I'm yeah. a bit curious about. 
how do you handle endian specific uh, uh, dependencies? Because I always end up in, oh, but I shouldn't use this endian specific thing because then it will not be portable. So how yeah. do you handle it? I don't know. I, 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 I just want to maybe to, um, to, to declare here, yeah. to declare here is dependencies and the processor in exist to provide them in a shared resources folder. If I understood your question well. Yes, but for instance, if you uh, use something which is uh, handled differently, if you depend on an extension which is only <coughs> for, uh, in one uh, engine or processor, how do you how do you avoid <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the BX part packaging spec allows you uh, to define a processor dependency. So basically it's, it's, it's possible to at least say well, this package will only run with engine X for engine. Absolutely, R. but if, if you are dependent on that and it's not available for, for the other if it's not available or it's not used, well, uh, you, you can have uh, different uh, descriptors yeah. and generate different uh, packages. Can be a solution. Mm -hmm. I, I I already have different descriptors. Huh? Yeah. So that's kind of yeah, mm -hmm. you see here I have some uh, variables because. They are defined because because I have more more descriptors, and you have more more packages. Uh, and also there is a problem with uh, the Java. For instance, uh, I, I need some libraries, Java, and uh, the sort of some other libraries use it. And yeah. yeah. But I can just give you a quick comment because that's something which I'm also looking into. So <coughs> I have to go on a path with using a maiden to just uh, yeah. clear those uh, dependencies. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, to manage the dependencies not only on Java level, but also on JavaScript level. <laughs> or HTML. Okay, so uh, any other? Good comments or okay, so thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>